Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at flight simming in 2024. What does 2024 have on the docket for us in the flight simulation world? Let's take a look. All right, before we dig in too far, I just want to say uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Boxing Day, Happy uh, whatever holidays you guys are spending with your family this uh, this time of year. Um, I hope that you guys have an amazing time. I hope that you guys get uh, you know everything and give everything uh, of yourself um, to to your family and just enjoy this uh, this period of time. Uh, let's look at what uh, we have going on in the aviation world. Let's start with X-Plane 12. X-Plane 12 has been around for a while, um, but I really think that X-Plane 12 is going to, it's going to break out in 2024. I think a lot of things with X-Plane 12 are really going to come out of beta. I think they're really going to get a handle on things and really make a go of most of the things uh, inside of this, everything that they're working on, the projector warping and blending. Uh, here's Austin working on that there. Uh, engine model improvements. Definitely X-Plane 12 has a lot of stuff that they are catching up on here and are really going to come around for those of you guys who are X-Plane maxis like myself. Uh, let's talk about the Yaw Man. So coming in January 8th, 2024, um, is this cool little controller. Uh, so it's basically a handheld Xbox controller um, that you guys, that has been customized for the purpose of using with one of the Microsoft Flight Simulator programs. You can uh, bind the keys as you wish, which means it probably goes well beyond X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, but it's it's really nice. I had a chance to use it at the uh, Flight Sim Expo 2023 and was able to kind of play around, use it. I thought that it, I was really sure that I would over control the crap out of the airplane. That's not the case. Um, it actually flew really well. I was able to make really good approaches with this. Uh, I would not use this to try to create good habits in the cockpit, if that's your purpose. Um, but if you're a casual gamer and just want a game on the go, I think that throwing this in your backpack, uh, maybe with a protector of some sort, uh, would be a really great way to go. If you just want to kind of have fun with your flight simulator, take that along with you and just kind of enjoy that. I think that'll come in around 250 bucks, and you can go to Sporties uh, and get that uh, taken care of. So speaking of Flight Sim Expo, the Flight Sim association flight simulation association um go check them out uh looks like they are we got a picture of 2023 from down in houston i spent a few days there had an amazing time registration is now open for this um it's going to be at the tropicana in las vegas june 21st 23rd 2024 you're going to meet great people you're going to learn about new things in the flight simulation world that you didn't know existed before you go to that flight simulation event um, and you're just going to have a good time. You're going to be able to use things ahead of time before that actually comes out um, and just kind of get an idea uh, of the different types of flight, simula flight simulation devices that are out there. And if you're not really into it all that much yet, you're going to get a good idea of what it is that you might want. If you have these dates available, go check that out um, and just have a good time down there, even if it's just for a day or so. Up. Oh. Flight Simulator, all right, so Flight Simulation 2024 is coming up in 2024. We've been waiting for this for a while. Um, the uh, This is uh, kind of an update, but it's its own program. It's its own flight simulator uh, coming out by Microsoft Flight Simulator that gives you uh, the ability to kind of have a job, basically have a job inside of it, so it'd be like a game, but it's all aviation jobs, um, just doing different things in the flight simulation world. Maybe you can make money. Uh, maybe there's some kind of a career modes. Maybe you can spend some time and build up and do different jobs in the aviation world. Maybe you need to get certifications and uh, you can't, maybe you can't do specific jobs until you get certain spe uh, specific things done, um, like get a high, high performance endorsement or go through the flight training to fly a helicopter. I'm not sure, but I look forward to figuring it out and seeing how this goes down. I would love to to play this and uh, play around with it and see how it goes. So I'll be updating my flight sim for that coming up. So let's talk about uh, some new things that we, uh, some new avionics that we would like to see uh, coming out this year. This is the real life avionics. This has nothing to do with flight simulation here, but this is the Garmin GI275. It's kind of like a G5, um, but it's a, it's a round aviation device. So if you want to maintain 
uh, kind of that classic look of your uh, look of your either your aircraft or your flight simulator and the panel, and you want something in your aircraft that looks like that, um, then it'd be a good, you might look like this inside of an actual aircraft. This is Stevie Treisenberg. Um, speaking of 2024, uh, things that are going on, I think Stevie's really going to blow up uh, YouTube this year. Uh, she's already blown up with just in the last two days, 80,000 views. I'm on her classic uh, Cessna 140 restoration video here, wanting to maintain that classic uh, panel um, here. So she's got the GI 275s. Definitely go check out her site. Um, also a Michigan native uh, like myself. So Stevie, say hi if you're uh, in the area. Uh, but lots of cool things going on with that. Uh, Chris from Angle of Attack as well has the same GI 275s. You can, if we can get these in a flight simulation world, Guys, we're going to be doing, that would be so awesome to be able to have these devices um, filling up our cockpits and being able to customize and organize, but still have and maintain that classic cockpit. B3X Touch, something that we haven't seen a lot of. The closest to this in most cockpits right now is the G1000. Um, but if you're in, into the experimental aircraft, um, even certified aircraft can get a version of this. The G3X Touch is going to be probably the way that you want to go. And if we could get our hands on a physical version of one of these for flight training and a simulator ahead of time, again, Real Sim Gear, I'm talking to you guys. Here's the flight chops. Uh, they've got the G3X Touch with the 750 and autopilot two G3X Touches with the G5 uh, in standby over here in the RV14. Um, really awesome cockpit. I had a chance to see that at Flight Sim Expo and uh, kind of popped my head in, the, in there. Um, really cool. Russ Barlow, speaking of up and coming sites, uh, YouTube channels. Uh, Russ has been doing this for a while, 161 videos, always staying on the, the leading edge of what's going on with sim innovations um, and putting together a flexible cockpit and making uh, a more lifelike uh, experience for flight simmers. Go check this out. Um, he really gets into mixed reality flight sims recently, and that's kind of like an augmented system um, where it kind of goes beyond virtual reality. I don't know about beyond virtual reality, but it's really taking things to a new level um, where you can see everything in real life, still use your avionics and all of your physical stuff, but still have that augmented world uh, where you can live in that flight simulation, look around and still have that available to you. So definitely make sure to take a look at this. We've also got state level avionics, John over here uh, creating panels. John's the dude that created my panel and just creates amazing uh, work here. Uh, this is just a really beautiful, clean way to put that together, and John will put um, every effort of his time into helping you get the right cockpit built, okay? Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but Navigraph uh, recently did survey. Um, get You can get the results for that for the 2023 survey. Most people are using Microsoft Flight Simulator. About 73, almost close to 75% of folks are looking to get Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 when that comes out. I think a lot of people are also looking to a lot. I saw this pop up, the PMDG uh, 737. Uh, a lot of people are looking forward to that. I just pulled this up as one last thing to, to kind of show off here, and that's PMDG. Um, so I, I was like, I, what is this? Why is that by far one of the most requested and uh, look forward to things in flight simulation? I'm not sure if PMDGs in bed with everybody wants this model, um, the 737-800. You can get it at the PMDG site for $69.99. And it's apparently a very robust uh, airliner uh, model that you guys can get from Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's there for you if you want it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Lots of great things coming to you in 2024. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas, an amazing happy new year, and just whatever holidays uh, are yours, own them and have fun. Just spend some time with your family and uh, really just enjoy that time while you have it, okay? I'll talk to you guys in another video and uh, I'll see you guys soon. All right, take care. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Talk soon.